But yeah, so I lost my shoe and then I went and sat at kind of the back of the room where they've got like the bar and there's like a couple of picnic benches there. Yeah. And strangely enough, a man walks through to the toilet with just an armful of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that he picked up off the floor. He was drunk, you know. He's happy that he's got all his shoes. I was like, "Please tell me he's got my shoe." And sure enough, he had, a, he had, he had found shoe. my shoe. So we're here with Tom Lumley from, from Tom Lumley and Billy from Tom Lumley. <laughs> and short stories. And short stories. Yes. <laughs> we are ever so slightly hungover. Yeah. On a Sunday, sat in a car because Bill decided to make me drink a lot of whiskey. It was your dad's birthday. A good excuse. On Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and you played the show yesterday as well, so your voice is a bit... Yeah, I'm so, glad I've not got to sing today. Yeah, yeah. me too. We played okay. two shows yesterday. Two? Yeah, we played subterranean and then um, we were playing the private party last night, which was really fun. Nice. So are you ready for Club Box Jukebox? I'm ready, mate. Just a, a lot of like local band CDs, mate, you know, support the local scene. Uh, we got Golden Oldie. Yeah. The original Hollow Star. Yeah, I have one of these. Oh, well. I was given one. It's beautiful. Repping the repping the t-shirt as well. Yeah. You're welcome, Joe. See, and, I, and I, else. I was going to wear my Hollow Star t-shirt as well, but I'm quite glad I didn't. Know. It was a little bit awkward. <laughs> and also, I can't fit in mine anymore because it went through the tumble dryer and it doesn't fit. And I put a bit of weight on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty. pretty Great special. EP. I remember getting it. Wolf Alice, mate. Yes. Wolf Alice. It's probably one of my. Favoritest albums of the last really? couple of years, actually. Yeah. Do, do you know what more fans been? We need to broaden Bill's yeah. <laughs> local scene. For maybe, local scene for maybe turn out no, home. No, maybe, no. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a local one, is it? No. I mean, they're pretty big. I've heard, I've heard them, but yeah, they sort of sell out like bricks. Yeah. Yeah. Take that home, Bill. It's good. Basically, no. Last time he took one of my CDs and he broke it. Okay. Just I lent, in case. I lent him my favourite album, the Nothing But Thieves' first album. Came back with a broken case. <laughs> well, I'm surprised I can get it back. To be honest, I thought, I thought I still love it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got it back now. Oh, so this is um, lower than Atlantis. Yes, Boys. signed as well. Signed. Well, when they were releasing the album, they did a competition that if you bought the album in like the first week, obviously to help them in the charts, they were giving away yeah. one of Mike Juice's guitars. So, oh, okay. so me and Jake, um, the guitarist in the band, we were like, oh yeah, we've got to buy it then. So we both bought the album same price same website everything mine came signed and his didn't <laughs> don't know why just no no reason just came signed happy so i was so happy with that my boys the main boys rose affair yes probably one of my favorite pieces of artwork, artwork. it's so clever in it yeah. because just claudette counts. the cloud they've named it claudette because I, <laughs> I, I saw a cloud like in the sky and it looked literally the same yeah. so i took the picture and tweeted it to them saying Oh, I found your cloud, and, and then Lucas was like, oh, thank you for finding Claudette. So, and it's now called Claudette. They're so clever with things like that, though, in their image and their words. Like, Lucas, lyrically, is just yeah. insane. So he'd be the Jake producer? Yeah, well. Jake, our guitarist, is the man behind this shizzle. Man behind the scenes. Yeah, feel me. Right, before we do some more CDs, yeah. before I forget, because I mostly always forget, mm -hmm. we need to promote your new single. The single is called Just Like The Light, and uh, you can get it on any digital platform and stream it. Just, get, just stream it loads on Spotify, add it to all your playlists, so that Spotify pick it up and put it on one of their big playlists, because they've still not done that yet with one of our tracks. But it'd be really nice. It would be really you know, nice. music video for it? There is. Um, that come out the same day? It's already out. <laughs> no, not now. Like it will be when this <laughs> oh, is out. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. It'll be like Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> We're playing Portland gone. Arms on October the seventeenth on tour, so, like promoting just like the light. So come and see us, please. Yeah. This video will definitely be out, be out, out by before then. then. Yeah. So yeah. No confusion around that one. <laughs> the greatest. Yeah. All hail. The Prodigy, Invaders Must Die. Good fun. I love some of their earlier stuff as well, but this album, I don't care what anyone says. This is the one with Omen on it, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. The, the album, I also saw them when like when they were touring the album. Oh my god. Yeah. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> so, the mosh pits. I, uh, I missed these at Download 2006, because I got kicked out for making a fire that got a bit out of control. You and I'm so gutted. You rebel. <laughs> Bad times. Yeah. False Hearts. I think False Hearts have just, in the last year, they've just come so far. It's amazing how I've had a little sneak preview of their um, 
Yeah, next song. single. Oh yeah, I've heard that. That, yeah. is, that is insane, isn't it? Dan Lambert, who has yeah. produced our new single, just like the light. Go check him out, Valhalla Studios. Yeah. He's produced an absolute banger for that. Well, yeah, and the band obviously because they wrote it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't take all the credit. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. Oh my god, I fucking found it. It's in my trousers. <laughs> I found my sock. <laughs> I've so, been looking for this for like three hours. <laughs> The search is uh, the, the search, search is, is over. over. The socks going on. I can't believe that. Yes, that's <laughs> really. I like how you didn't offer him another sock. Either. No, I did. I did. I just, I just, you I didn't want I it. I was literally in disbelief that that sock could go missing. <laughs> yeah. Bring me the horizon. I didn't Ooh. expect to find this in your car. Uh, this is this is the newest one. Ah, uh, well, I don't care what. But it is. Yes, they have gone. A great album, they've gone more though. mainstream, but I don't give a two hoots. Uh, it's bloody amazing. Arguably one of the biggest bands out there in the minute. Like, yeah, they're massive. Everyone really goes to one of their like own shows. Like the festival, I've seen them at festivals maybe two, three times. But yeah, yeah, do you feel like they could do? Looks like yeah. they do so I much more. The, the arena yeah. shows yeah. now. Shows, yeah. They had that show, that Halloween show, didn't they? Event at Shikari. I saw oh, them yeah, in the Met Lounge back in 2005. I remember you saying that. That's yeah. mental. Met Lounge is like yeah. 200 you... people, like Port Nams, in Peterborough. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you're not a winner. It's still, I don't. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> so cliche, like, it's, but I just love that track. It's the clap. Yeah. Is, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Here it is, the original. Yeah, it's oh, this is the one everyone raves about, isn't it? So, Start to finish. So when I was younger, like, I lived in Spain, and we were going to this music festival, like me and some friends, and uh, this one girl, Faith, she was banging on about this band called Two Door Cinema Club. It was before this album was even released. Yeah. And she was like, they're on the smallest stage, and she was like, I've got to go and see Two Door Cinema Club. And I was just like, oh, no, 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 I don't know who they were. Went to watch them, I was just like, oh my god. And then the album came out, got the album, I was like, yeah, these, these boys, what they're doing. But I think you put the leaflet back in upside down, then. Yeah, I don't know. upside down? That was already like that. Oh, actually. in that case, it's Tom's fault. I'm pretty sure the cat's eyes right? slot into the Yeah, they the slot O's. into the O's. There's also boobs. Boobs? Yeah, is this the one with boobs in it? Yeah, boobies. <laughs> big fat boobies. <laughs> I want to know who this girl with the big boobs is. Actually, I don't think that's the same person. There you go. <laughs> what else you got? We've got a CD for a band called Hymns. We played alongside these guys with Tom Lumley at uh, the Monarch in Camden. If you remember. Remember we played the Monarch? It was like a Tuesday or Wednesday night. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the last tour, you know. I thought you were meaning me, you, like me and Short Stories and them. No, no, no Tom, yeah, Tom yeah, Lumley yeah. played with no. these guys. Yeah, and Tom in Lumley in as a whole. In April, it's weird June. generalizing the band as your full name, but yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what it is. Yeah, I don't know why though, because you, yeah. Are you, are you gonna <laughs> have to change the band name to, to like Tom um, Lumley and they, they something? They don't want me to. Who's that? We quite like it. I quite, I quite like just being Tom Lumley. In, you know, I, I don't know. Tom, I quite like being in Tom Lumley. I don't Lumley. know whose words it was, but someone said we'd rather it just be your name because then if things do go wrong, it's all on you. So <laughs> it's true. Like it's, it's just no pressure for us at the minute. It's nice to no, be. Yeah, no pressure for them. They're Tom Lumley and Larry. the other guys. Tom Lumley. They turn and, uh, no, no Tom Lumley Lager and the Lagaritas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the They're happy as Larry, and no stress for them. And I'm literally yeah. like. Yeah, because I'm guessing you're doing everything. They just turn up. Yeah, we just turn up and play. Losing sleep night. They do so much for me. <laughs> Literally so much. I can't thank them enough. Yeah, look at me. I'm an hour and 15 minutes away from home. It's a Sunday. I'm hungover. I just want my roast dinner. But here I am. Uh, Billy Bibby, mate. What a guy. What a band. Billy Bibby and the Rice mm. Miles. Yeah, we had them at Rivertown, didn't we? There's a funny is. interview, so good. Man, that interview was insane. It went on for like 12 minutes. Yeah, where's the, where's the George Ezra CD? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Matt, the bassist, um, first time I met these boys, uh, we played a gig in Hartford. I was supporting them and Matt wanted a Tom Lumley t-shirt, but he didn't have any cash on it. So I was like, oh, don't worry about it. So he was just like, oh, wait, wait a second. And he, he went, like backstage and well, I say backstage into like the kitchen <laughs> of the venue, <laughs> and he was like, "Don't tell Billy I've given you these and just gave me the two CDs <laughs> in exchange for the T-shirt." So, <coughs> yeah, well happy with that. Got two great CDs. Anyone should check him out. Yeah, and check out the interview from the channel. Probably the funniest interview. Yeah, happened. it's so funny. I've watched it. I did double check with him. I was like, are you sure you want me to put this online? No, like... It's the drummer. Yeah, fine. The handbrake. Oh my <laughs> god. You need to watch it to find out.
The Cure. The Cure? Yeah, they didn't even give me a C. You yes. got two extra songs on that, you know, it's 17 a, minutes of music. 17 minutes of music. It's, That's getting your money. There's some well, long songs on there. There's like a, I think, is it the same deep water? Your disintegration is should, like over nine minutes we in should, itself. We should make like the, a new thing called like the Cure Challenge. And it's like, how long can you last making love yeah, whilst listening you make to No, make love to your partner whilst listening to the album, see if you can go the whole 70 minutes. Oh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I put it on twice. <laughs> you imagine that? It'd be red raw by the end of it. Let me know. That's your life over for a few weeks. The cure red raw challenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Do it. I think that's the end right. of what she wants. I, I do want to apologise if me and Billy have sounded boring or anything because we are <laughs> over. I feel like okay. I've been fairly monotone today, but I don't know. Thank you for watching. I didn't even say anything in your car. I just found the socks. <laughs> <Just, laughs> yeah. Tom Lumley music, yeah, Googleable. And short stories. Googleable. And yeah. check out short stories as well, Bill's. Bill's and Tom Lumley's new single. Yes. Yeah, 28th of September. Get it. Probably in the past now. Maybe. Yet to be confirmed. We'll see when this is released. <laughs>